Hello there, Peach Sucks and Dudes. Welcome back to Let's Call Do Things. It's been a while since I've done a video. We got a lot of things going on in the world right now, so with everybody at home, a little difficult to do that. But I've had some time today. I tried to go ahead and do the Dumb Blonde Disney Build Challenge. I put a different spin on it. I decided to create her very own Dumb Blonde Land, which we're going to get into. And at the recording of this video right now, she has not done the video where she's gone through with a couple of her buddies and judged them. She did do a live stream on Twitch, going through them all, so everyone could see it, which was really cool. I'm glad she did that. But I don't want to put this video out just yet, so I went ahead and I'm holding off. But she's supposed to drop that sometime later on tonight. But welcome to Dumblon Land. No, you're right. This is not Disneyland. Let me tell you the story. After all the vids and creative builds, Zumblon finally made it big, so with Disneyland being her second home, naturally she tried getting to live there, but sadly Disney said no. This did not stop her dream. She bought a large plot of land, and it, it kind of goes in depth. I, I don't want to like paraphrase every single part of it. I mean, I'm sure you guys can read it faster than I can on screen, but I at least wanted to start it. But, yeah, there's, there's a lot here, and I try to give it a basis of why there isn't, like, a lot built yet. I always, if you guys have played my maps before, whether it's parkour or escape or a death run or a mixture of those things, I always try and give it some kind of interesting backstory. That's just how I really like most builds personally. But there's also a part two to this map, which you're getting two maps today technically, but it's all wrapped up in the same thing. So it's actually, believe it or not, going in and seeing it at night. I do have this thing where you can turn the music on and off if you really want to. Um, interesting fact about this build, I actually started kind of more midsection downtown and near the fountain area. Then I built half of the downtown strip here, as I'm calling it. And then I went and did what I called Yesterworld. I did the teacups. The tandem teacups is what I called it. This is the little PC lounge you're seeing right now that I did. Tried to make it all circuit breaker like. You can go in some things if you read the billboards and other things you can't. I did the little photo op. But yeah, that that's that's Malt Wisney, not not Walt Disney. Disclaimer, because copyright issues and <laughs> that's not Mickey Mouse. It's not Mortimer Mouse even. That's actually Marky, <laughs> cat mouse. <laughs> but some things, like I said, you can go in and others you can't. I figured you're going to have to be able to go into the gift shop. Like, why wouldn't you be able to go into the gift shop? Um, and from the first review that she did on Twitch, she really liked the way I did the ceiling in here. Which, that, I don't know, just when you hear a, a person that has been, you know, in something a little longer... And you get other people that like something. I, I don't know. It, it just kind of makes you happy. It's like, oh, I think that's a good idea. I hope that works out. Oh, and yeah, by the way, <laughs> that was a cool idea. Now, she didn't stop at my arcade <laughs> in the first video. I, I hope when she goes through with her friends, someone sees the arcade. I, I, I imagine they'll go through, like, more in-depth. The bullseye does nothing, just so you know. It was just kind of to represent, like, hey, you're supposed to hit the targets. But it, it's it's just for fun. That's all this really is right here. And I made it to where, of course, you can't carry around the rifle. Because, I mean, it's it's a cork gun. There's there's no bullets. It's, it's just corks you're shooting. But that's your little jewelry shop. I, this was a personal joke. I hope somebody sees it. It's It says Pizza Pit, but it only sells burgers. I, I wanted to kind of put a little gag in there. Put, put a few little things in there that are subliminal. <laughs> But yeah, here is <laughs> here is Malt Wisney, which is Midas. And I did the red flowers, which are trademark to what I've seen in pictures for Disneyland. Got your claptrap there. This is Yesterworld. It's more of your your futuristic spaceship and technology builds, which I did in fact there is a statue for Disney's version of it. And see, I was born and raised in Florida, and I've been to Disney World when I was a kid, but I've never been to California and been to Disneyland, the original. So, I, I actually myself had to look up pictures, and I'm glad I did. And I know some people did other ones, which that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but I just, I had a goal 
for my own personal stuff. But yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with this. Like, I, I think some of you guys have seen the stuff I generally do, and it's it's not like oh I'm gonna build something that looks Disney like. I don't normally do that, so it was kind of fun to do something I'm not used to, and then put my own spin on it. And that's the thing. And there's Caroline the chill camel. I, I almost called it Larry the Lounge Llama, and then I'm like, no, Kyle, that's a camel. <laughs> I had very big plans for the castle. I really did. I wanted to make, like, that's where she lived. That's where Dumb Blonde lived in this Dumb Blonde land. But I ran out of memory by the time I did the other two parts. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just say it's under construction. It makes sense. It goes with the narrative. And it... it puts another little like kind of nudge towards everything with because disney all around one way or another they're always expanding or fixing something so they're it's they're always under somehow construction i put the flamingos in because you know they're used in alice in wonderland as the croquet mallets got your caterpillar here i had a time finding the correct pieces to do teacups and some you can't go in and some you can go in and i wanted some of them to look similar I didn't get a chance to really put any fancy, like, writings on them, or designs on them, I should say, not writings, but I, I thought they were fine the way they were. Added the clock to kind of be like a, you know, a little pocket watch. Added the spooky spider, because why not? You know, you're in a garden type setting. At last minute, I found the teacup stuff, which was great, and then I went kind of, kind of weird kind of just the whole Alice in Wonderland theme with the weirdness. I did this as a last minute thing too with the slurp. I was actually trying to make a fountain in the shielded metal. Here you've got the <laughs> Mad Hatter Jonesy. Which would, that would probably be a really cool skin to see a Mad Hatter Jonesy. Can they do Alice in Wonderland skins? That would be kind of interesting. To Can you imagine a Cheshire Cat? But anyway, I'm getting off track. So we're now going to go into the night version that you guys might have seen slightly there for a second. The code for in the first one, which this build was interesting because I built the day one completely. And I was trying to figure out how to make it to where it would go from night to day. But I didn't want to do a bunch of barriers because that would take up too much info. So instead, I jumped in here. I went ahead and just made it dark and then added the lights, and the lights capped me out at the 100,000 memory. Like, I added the last light in, and it literally took the rest of the memory. I got really lucky. <laughs> um, I, I, she did, when she did the Twitch stream, she went through it once, like her first reaction, and then she went through them really quick again, just to kind of give the general look of things. But I went in this video a little more in depth, which again, I'd imagine her and her friends, she's either going through it right now or going to be later on today. I'm expecting my phone to go off because I put notifications on, because she is really good about posting when she's going to do videos, and I'm interested to see, you know, her reactions to everything and what her friends have to say. I think that would be kind of cool. And honestly, also, I have to say, like, good luck to everybody on this. Like, it was fun. Sure, who doesn't want to win something? Especially when money's involved. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. Like, who doesn't want to win? But I was in a creative slump. I'm not going to lie about it. I <laughs> I seriously right now have like seven or eight maps that I got so far in and then I just stopped and I'd go to another one. Because what I do is I get an idea for something and then I branch off. It's like, oh, wait, this thing would look good over there. And this thing this could work with this and I could make a death run like this and before you know it I've got multiple things that are started midway through almost done but nothing's published nothing's completed but this helped me get out of that because I kind of I kind of have like a way I build things I guess a way I do things pun intended but this really helped me get out of that because it's something different that I wouldn't normally do so not only do I really thank, you know, Epic Games for not only making Fortnite, you know, having the creative team to build this so we could build, but also for the simple fact that I really thank Dumb Blonde just for putting that out there because, I don't know, something in me just was like, hey, I need to try that. I should do that. But I think this is where, where the park really comes alive. 
Um, and I mean, that's that's with any theme park. If they've got, you know, good and decent lighting on things, it, it's much more dramatic. I think it, it adds a different tone than when you see everything during the day. When you see everything during the day, it's like, oh, this is big and this is huge and that's fancy. And then when you see lights on it, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's much more sinister and curious at the same time. That's the best way I can put it. Seriously, the last lights I put in were in this giant chamber that I made <laughs> out of the... I forget what these were. I know they were something specific to the storyline. I don't know how many seasons ago. I, I'm getting old, folks, okay? <laughs> I can't remember every every name of every skin. There's ones in my locker that I'm like, oh, wait, what is... Oh, yeah, that's what that's called. It's like Goldie. I haven't used this skin in forever, and I actually had to look up the name. I was like, oh, um... What um thief um robber what what is oh yeah Goldie that's her name but I promise we'll go back to the podium where the arrow where we're supposed to go here in a second but this is just to show you that things are similar but just a little bit different at night again as you probably saw the bar on the very first one I didn't have a lot of room to add anything and then I came into this. But these lights just voice crack at 30. It's terrible, I tell you. <laughs> you just never get out of puberty sometimes. But it, it just, it again, it adds another level. I wish I could have added a couple more lanterns because I didn't really realize how some of them stacked up. But at the same time, at the same time, I, I love it. I just, I love how it turned out. And I, I like took that straight from a picture. Like I saw the tandem teacups in Disney and saw the lanterns and I'm like yep I know what I'm using and then I added the light with Jonesy I think it adds that extra like man he's really gonna fall off of that <laughs> and then I had to add that that deep red and I, I think the that bright sky blue of the slurp really works added a little bit of the firefly effect here just it's one I, I could have like littered it with more if I wanted to but it wouldn't have been the same so but moving on, I could see where the video, because mind you, I recorded this and then I'm recording video over it and voiceover. But um, this was this was really fun. It just comes out of nowhere. But I wanted that because you know it's it's all quiet and calm at night until like the actual fireworks show happens. And I was trying my best to do. I really wasn't trying to make it spooky, but then when... I mean, I love spooky stuff, don't get me wrong. But then when I I put the effect on it before I turned it to where only the button would turn it and make it work, I just I instantly fell in love with it, how the blue lighting and the aqua spooky turquoise smoke fog, whatever water you want to call it, just added that extra touch. So I thought it was perfect. I, I hope you guys do enjoy these video or this video I should say and these maps if you want to just go take a look around maybe get some inspiration off of it I mean I, I love going into builds that are artsy just to try and get an idea of how to use something myself but think about you know liking subbing subscribing you know go check me out on Twitter go check out my merch if you want that's not even really important I rather see you over on Twitter and you guys can see all my crazy ideas over there Everything's down in the description, folks. Peace. Stay awesome. Bye-bye.